Hey friends, I'm Ava. Today we've got something super cool lined up for you. We're not just doing math, we're going on an adventure. And guess what? We've got a special friend from planet Earth joining us to tackle some awesome 6th grade math puzzles. Let's give a cosmic welcome to Ricardo. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Today we'll be breaking down decimal notation and place value. To keep it simple, decimal notation means writing a, a fraction as a decimal point and a number. For example, 5 tenths can be written as 0 0.5. To do this easily, jump back a step and think about place value. We learned that place value shows the value of a digit depending on its position in a number. If you take the number 678, start from the right to the left, the 8 is in the 1's place, the 7 is in the 10's place, and the 6 is in the 100's place. But if we add a decimal point or comma to this number, we have a whole number with a fractional part. All the numbers to the left side of the decimal point are whole numbers, and everything to the right are fractions. These numbers are called base 10 numbers, like tenths, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousandths. A cool trick to remember is that the amount of zeros in your base 10 number will tell you how many digits should follow the decimal point. Every time the base 10 increases from 10 to 100 to 1000, it shifts one spot to the right. If we want to find the place value of the number 5 in the number 6 and 8.915, we must look at the numbers on the right side of the decimal point. We have the tenths, hundredths and the thousandths place top tip, the base 10, will tell you how many digits should follow the decimal point. The 9 represents 9 tenths, the 1 represents 1 hundredths and the 5 represents 5 thousandths. So the place value of the number 5 represents 5 one thousandths. Great job for getting that. Let's move up a level and try the fraction three-fifths. Writing that in decimal notation is a little harder. The trick is to change the bottom number, the denominator, into a base 10. We will multiply the 5 by 2 and now our denominator will be 10. But what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So we must multiply the top number, the numerator, by 2 as well. Our new fraction will be 6 tenths. Pause the video and write the decimal notation. 0 0.6 is correct. Here is another example to try. 8 fiftieths. Remember the steps. Step 1. Change the denominator to a base 10 by multiplying 50 by 2. Step 2. What you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So multiply your numerator by 2 as well. Step 3. Your new fraction will be 16 one hundredths. 16 one hundredths equals 0 0.16. You now know that a decimal can be written as a fraction and a fraction as a decimal using place value. Hey everyone! Did you like our videos? Then don't forget to subscribe! Search for Few School Kids on YouTube.